Welcome back guys, it's Kids Clean Playground here. And today we will be working on a Christmas decorator. It's around Christmas now. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people celebrate Christmas, so some people don't celebrate Christmas. Um, anyways, I haven't posted in like 30 days, no, 27 days. So, um, yeah, today we are, are working on this Christmas decorator game. This game is targeted for beginner and intermediate scratchers. So that that calls for that we're about to release a um, Christmas platformer with the Santa right here, and he's running all around and he's having fun and he's dodging spikes and just like a platformer. It's gonna be like the Christmas platformer that we released like a few days ago. So anyways, let's see what we're gonna learn. Christmas decorator. We'll be learning these following concepts from scratch. Sprite editing, broadcast messages, using draggable, music extension, cloning, key control, and you can find the Santa Claus sprite here in the link below, or you can get out from our Google Drive in the video description below. So we'll have every single thing in our Google Drive in the video description. So yeah, you guys, you guys can check that out. Shout out! We have plans to make the Christmas decorating game in Scratch. So yeah, we had a, we already had this uh, plan. So recently we saw 6AOB5VVB create a similar game and shared it in our Scratch studio. You guys can check out his project. It is very cool as well. So Christmas tree decorator, 6A by 6AO5BVB. Um, so yeah, you guys can check that out. Um, oh yeah, this also calls for our Scratch Studio. You can join our Scratch Studio in the video. Um, join our Scratch Studio. You can definitely check that out. You can share all of your fun projects and we'll view it sometimes. And we might even give it shout outs. Like this one, the Christmas tree decorator. So um, please join our studio and thank you. So I'm in my game that I made. Uh, with a little help, so, <laughs> so, um, we're gonna uh, try playing this game, so. So, this is not copyrighted music, this is actually, um, music that I made from the music tool in Scratch and extensions. So, it takes a lot of scripts to make this music, 27, so, uh, uh, so there's, Change the Christmas tree. There's a change in gift box. There's snow is constantly falling. So I'm gonna change the gift box. See if this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one, ninth one. And yeah, it just keeps on going all over again. So let's change our Christmas tree. So um, there's a bunch of different Christmas trees. So you can. It starts out with this one, I think. So it just changes Christmas trees. So I can take that. And then we set the candy cane to draggable, so you can drag it anywhere you want. You can hang the stocking, that's also draggable. You can also play with the Santa, which is um, arrow keys, um, and, and you can use up arrow to do um, jumping, and makes a little jump sound and all that stuff. So it's pretty a uh, cool game, like, you can change the gift boxes a little bit, you can do whatever you want. So, yeah, this is basically what I'm saying. So, yeah. So, um, we're starting here and we have Sprite 1, which is not needed. So, we have everything in our backpack and we already uh, took out the background because I think they're JPGs and they still have a background. So, we took out all the backgrounds from in Scratch 2. So, um, if you don't know how to take out the backgrounds, you can watch our new video. So, um, yeah, uh, so we have a, but, uh, I mean, that's not a new video. So we're going to be, uh, that, that was um, an old video. We're going to put that in our links in the description, which is the, um, the, the, to tell you how to erase the backdrop for many things like anything you want. And we also have the backpack video links in the description. If you, uh, want to have the backpack video if you want to learn how to use the backpack i mean like why not so uh if you guys don't know how to use a backdrop backpack you can use it so we need the winter backdrop right here and then we can erase the two trees 
There we go. Winter backdrop. We don't have. We don't need backdrop one. Okay, so um, we will be working on next tree and next gift box right now. So we're gonna start on next tree. So when the green flag is clicked, you go to a position. Since I already have it in my backpack, it goes to the position I wanted to go into. So negative 195, Y 130. So you can drag it anywhere you want. And then you'll have it in, in, the, in your position. You just have to drag it around. You can put it in your position. So like over there, there'll be a negative 187, Y 64. So it's back to negative 195, Y 130. So. Uh, yeah, so let's work on this. So when the green, this is just a tad of code, not that much. When the sprite clicked, broadcast, change tree. Because Christmas tree. Hope you guys have uh, set up your Christmas tree already. We didn't yet. So we're about to set it up today, I think. So change tree. We're also going to work on our second button, which is the this one. The box, the gift box. So I'll go to the position I won, and it'll when I when this sprite is clicked, it will broadcast instead of change tree, change box. So uh, we're gonna work on the the uh, Christmas tree. So let's work on that right now. So I had a code too here. And the costumes, we have Christmas tree one, which is the winter tree from the backdrop in the winter. Um, this Christmas tree, links in the description, you can download all these Christmas trees. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So I already positioned them. So if you didn't position them yet, which you probably did not because you're downloading this from our Google Drive. So um, you have to put your thumb here. Obviously, you can't see my thumb, but it's right there. So um, you got to put it right here. All the Christmas trees have to be around the same size. And then you got to put the Christmas tree in the middle. So um, as you can see, my thumb is uh, up there. And it's around the same size for all of them. That's the good thing. And you got to center it just like that. Just like that, yeah. For all of them, you gotta center them. Put the thumb. Some can be taller than others, just a tad taller sometimes. Some can just be a tad taller. That's pretty good. So, anyways, let's start on the Christmas tree. So, when the green flag is clicked, it'll go to 132Y11. I already have that. And it'll go to the back layer, just because you want the gift boxes to be in front of the tree. You know, switch costume to Christmas tree. So we have seven trees, and that's Christmas tree zero, one, two, one, three is in front of two for some reason, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have basically seven costumes, and it just says Christmas tree zero because it's Christmas tree zero. And then, so this is Christmas tree zero. This is Christmas tree six. So... You can change that to one and you can change this one to seven if you want, but I did that zero. So when I receive change tree, it will go to the next costume. I'm pretty sure we, we're gonna work on the gift box next. So let's do the gift box right now. So when the green flag is clicked, it'll switch costume. So we're not gonna give you all these costumes because I design the costumes but we will give you like each of these presents so then you can design them on your own and put like some in front of others some on the left some on the right like um some of these some of these so i designed all of these um this one's gigantic one i don't know why i made it that big but okay um so we're gonna be working on this now so it'll switch costume to costume zero which is um zero obviously and it'll go to the front layer and change gift box to next costume so this will be um used for the gift box and it'll change the gift box when you click this button 
So let's test it out. So this is for the Christmas tree. This is for the gift box. So you can download all these again. So gift box. Awesome. I like this one the best because it's the most presents and everyone likes presents. So Christmas tree. Godly. Okay, so it works. Um, so we can do this. So we're going to work on the candy cane right now. Candy cane should be really, 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 really simple. So just uh, four scripts of code. No, yeah, four scripts of code. And uh, when the green flag is clicked, it will go to the position I already have it at, negative 39, y 28. It'll go forever. Set mode draggable, because you can drag it anywhere you want. Set drag mode to draggable. So you can drag this anywhere you want. Even in even the people that are playing the game, you can drag it up here, you can drag it down here, you can drag it, uh, well, I'm, I'm dragging this because I'm inside the project, you can drag it over here. That's basically what this does. I mean, the stocking is just exactly the same code, so but just a different position, so let's just bring this to here. But then change the go to to where it already is. Uh, so um, I'm gonna make it. I have I already have a position. That's fine. Uh, cause I think I should keep it there. Cause why not? Um, next we're gonna work on the Santa. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to work on the Santa next. So let's do this. So I'm gonna start over here, and then when the green flag is clicked. It will go forever. I'll go to the front layer. So I did it the front layer because you don't want it, you don't want Santa to go in front of the stocking or the candy cane. So because it'll go behind the candy cane and then his face is behind the candy cane. You don't want his face to be behind the candy cane. You want him to be in front of everything. So let's do this. So if then. So we have all the costumes over here. Idle, run, 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 jump. Basically, that's all we have. So, well, there's more in, in the links in the description you can download in our Google Drive, but you can also go to this website and download Santa die, like him dying and all that stuff. So you can also do that. And then when you're not, and then if key any press, any key is pressed, you need a not, so if n not any keys are pressed, like the right arrow or the left arrow, if they're not pressed, they'll switch costume to the idle costume, just like in the Mongoose platformer. So, we are done with that. So next, we're gonna do a large script of code with the green flag, and we'll go to this position. And a set rotation style left, right, because you don't want it to be upside down when it's running. Also, it's going to run with his head up, upside down. He's going to have um, his head on the ground. And, yeah, so that's why you want it to be set rotation style to left, right. Or you can do this part. We can do this and click this button. It's already left, right, I think, but just in case we can, we can do this. So set rotation style left, right. Um... And it'll go to the front later. Again, we gotta recap this. And it'll go forever. If then, if then the right arrow is pressed, uh, then you can point in direction 90. Point in direction 90 right over here. We'll move 10 steps. And next costume. So I'm going to work on the left arrow next. So let's duplicate this. Change a little bit code. Change this to left arrow. This is negative 90. Move 10 steps. Next costume. So that's the code for Santa walking. Now we're going to do the jumping code so let's do this so let's see my santa is 
walking frequently. Not frequently. <laughs> He's walking. Um, right. Normally, so. If he's not walking, he's idle mode. He's just smiling. Uh, yeah. So, um, let's change the stocking because it's at a uh, position. I don't want it to be, and it's at the same position. So, I do have coordinates for this. But I could drag this over here. And then do the go-to. Because the candy cane and the stocking are at the same position. And I do not like that. So, let's see. I think it's supposed to be go over here, right? Okay. I think this is the right one. Yeah, right there. See, so, right there. Okay, so let's just continue with our Santa jumping. So, a jumping Santa. When the green flag is click, it'll go forever. If then, Repeat until, so if then the up arrow key is pressed, then it will switch costume to jump, and it will broadcast jump and wait. Jump, so we make a new message, jump, and then the repeat until if the you need equal sign if the y position is equal to negative 85 it's already at negative uh, uh, y is already at negative 85 so i use negative 85 cause santa is on negative 85 so when it jumps it'll go down back to negative 85 so it'll change y by negative 10 so negative 85 this is where he's standing so when he jumps he'll land back right on the spot and then when I receive jump then it'll start sound jump so let's get this right there I think it's already on Santa, but if I think uh, I added the um, the sound for the jump, so let's do this. Choose a sound, jump. So it's in the sprite library. Uh, so you could get it if it's not in the Santa for some reason. So you can get that sound, and then it'll repeat five times. Change Y by 30. It'll go up. And then weight, a really small weight, 0 0.02. I did 0 0.02, which is the same thing, but 0 to make it, uh, make it, so just in case if I didn't get it. So let's see. Working working so just like that drag the candy cane drag the stocking change the gift box we didn't add the music yet so there's a bunch of these so oh uh, we i might take a little bit long because it's already 18 minutes and 57 seconds which is um 19 minutes now so um we're gonna do the the code for the snow and the backdrop, which is the sound, and the jingle bell sound. Dun, 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 d